Hello there. In this tutorial, I will explain the FX lineup and the multi output feature of Punch 2. After installing Punch 2, two instruments will appear in your instrument list Punch 2, which is single stereo output, and Punch 2 Multi, with the multi outputs. Let's first explain the Punch 2 instrument with the single stereo output and its FX features. Punch 2 in its default FX mode is laid out like an audio mixer. So just like a channel on your mixer, Punch 2 has 4 FX sands for each drum pad. If you go to the advanced page of a pad, the 4 FX sands appear on the right hand side. It is also possible to have each of the FX sands in pre mode, which means that you can send the sound into the FX independent from the pad's volume control. In the upper right corner of the Pad Advanced page, you can see a menu called Output. If Punch 2 is selected as an instrument with the default FX lineup having 4 FX sends, then this menu has no influence on the signal flow. Because with the Punch 2 instrument, there is one stereo output and everything goes into the master section and then to the stereo output. The other outputs are used if Punch 2 is in the Punch 1 FX mode or if the Punch 2 multi instrument is selected. The FX page is for editing the 4 FX, changing the FX paths, modulating the FX. You can also see that you can adjust the FX send for each pad on this page. Inside each of the FX, you can see that by default the mix is set to fully wet. This is normal with an FX send setup. The FX path sets how you can combine these four FX. Different modes are available. We have even made it possible, if you have the FX in one of these serial modes, that you still can skip a FX by sending it directly into the desired FX. For example with this path. The command menu allows you to copy an FX to another FX and so on. Inside this FX page, you can also switch to the original Punch 1 FX mode. Many presets, which are an original Punch 1 preset, are using this FX mode. The moment you switch to this mode, the whole FX system and its routing changes. Each pad now has its own output, which appears on the FX page, and also inside the Advanced page. In the upper right corner of the advanced page, you can select the output of each pad. This can be main, dry, FX1, FX2, FX3, FX4. All outputs come together in the master section and then go to the left and right output. You can also see other outputs 11 up to 16 but these only apply for the Punch 2 multi instrument. Let's go back to the Path menu inside the FX page. The FX Path sets out how these four FX combine. Different modes are also available with the Punch 1 FX mode. We also made it possible here that if you have FX in serial mode, that you still can skip an FX by sending it directly into the desired FX. For example, with this serial path, FX1 goes into FX2, into FX3 and into FX4. With Punch 2, you still can skip FX1 or FX2 by sending it directly into FX3 or even FX4.
so Punch2 offers two FX modes in which you can work with. Of course, it's your personal taste which setup you prefer with Punch2, the Punch1 or Punch2 FX mode. Now let's go over to the multi-output Punch2 instrument. Select Punch2 Multi as an instrument. Next, please check how multi-output instruments work in your music host program. My example is Cubase in which you need to activate the additional outputs. As you can see, there are eight stereo outputs available. Selecting an output is done inside the advanced page of the drum pad. With Punch2 in its default FX mode, the four FX sense output option appear like this. As you can see, if you select main, this output has the FX and the master included. So if you use the FX and the master section, this output should be selected. The other seven stereo outputs are without the FX and the master section. Please note that this also means that if you have FX sense settings on a pad, that they are cut off if you select for this pad output 3, 4 or higher. With Punch 2 in the FX1 mode, the output option will look like this. In this setup, you can see that the first output includes the master section and that each FX is connected to an output. Please note that it is wise to use the 4 FX with path mode parallel. Otherwise, sounds will appear on multiple outputs. Last but not least, we have of course the main page of Punch2, which allows you to edit your drum kit and pads without the need of going into the advanced page. In the lower left corner, there is this section in which you already can control the FX sand, the outputs and much more for the selected pad.